In this video, we'll use some simple graphics to help simplify and explain the basics of atrial fibrillation. AF is a cardiac dysrhythmia that results from the conduction of irregular and disorganized electrical activity in the atria. In a sinus rhythm, electrical impulses are produced at regular intervals by the sinus node, from where they spread through the atrium in an organized manner that causes the underlying cardiac muscle to contract efficiently squeezing blood into the ventricles below. In contrast, during AF, electrical impulses surge through the atria in waves of irregular, disorganized activity. In response, the cardiac muscle shakes rather than contracts. This shaking is referred to as fibrillation. This fibrillation can be identified on an ECG as a bumpy, irregular line where we would expect to find a P wave. P waves represent the organised flow of electricity through the atria. In a sinus rhythm, all the P waves will look very similar to each other across the rhythm strip as they are representing a flow of electrical activity that is following the same route through the atria on each successive beat. In AF, the electrical conduction is more rapid and irregular, flowing through the atria along many different paths, hence a more irregular and bumpy line that we see on our ECG. Ineffective atrial contractions can have many consequences for sufferers. For example, a loss of atrial kick. During normal electrical conduction, the atrium squeeze additional blood into the ventricles just before they contract. This additional blood is referred to as the atrial kick. In AF, this additional bolus of blood is lost, resulting in a reduced stroke volume per beat. An otherwise healthy individual might be able to tolerate this reduction in cardiac output relatively easily, at least in the short term. However, for a sufferer whose cardiovascular system is already struggling to meet the body's demands, this loss of atrial kick may be significant. Another issue for a sufferer of AF can be the formation of blood clots. The loss of effective atrial contraction results in the blood becoming more stationary in the heart's upper chambers. This can lead to the blood coagulating, forming clots that exit the heart, leading to a significantly increased risk of stroke. Many chronic sufferers of AF will require blood thinning medications to reduce this risk. Another diagnostic feature of AF is irregular contractions of the ventricles. The conduction of impulses from the atria to the ventricles occurs across a specialised cluster of cells known as the atrial ventricular or AV node. During a sinus rhythm, electrical impulses are carried straight to the AV node by the normal conduction pathways, ensuring a beat of the ventricles follows each contraction of the atrium. In AF, things are of course not so simple. The more irregular conduction of electrical impulses through the atria lead to the irregular stimulation of the AV node. This can be identified on an ECG by analysing the spacing of the QRS complexes. A QRS complex represents a contraction of the ventricles. In a sinus rhythm, the regular conduction of impulses from the sinus node results in regular contractions of the ventricles. The QRS complexes therefore appear at regularly spaced intervals across a rhythm strip. In AF, the complexes lack this regular spacing. Irregular ventricular contractions become especially significant when it leads to fast AF. The AV node can become overstimulated in AF, leading to a very fast rate of ventricular contractions. For the ventricles to pump effectively, they need adequate time to fill with blood between contractions. A fast ventricular rate can be dangerous as the ventricles may be denied adequate filling time, resulting in them pumping significantly lower volumes of blood. Fast AF has the potential to result in a life-threatening drop in blood pressure, requiring urgent medical attention. You'll find some references and suggestions for further reading in the description below. And don't forget to have a look at the website for more information and more videos.